Photosynthesis is probably the most important chemical reaction in the world. This is the Cubit Lab. Photosynthesis. It's how light from the sun is harnessed to fuel nearly all life on Earth. Light energy is used to fuse atmospheric gases, which then produce sugar. Recently, the details of this reaction have been studied by physicists who want to know how light striking the leaf is funneled and concentrated down to a single point, where it powers the chemistry. The process is more than 99% efficient, even though it takes place in a warm, squishy, messy environment with none of the careful preparations physicists like to make in the lab. It's kind of like doing an experiment inside a plate of jello. Recently, researchers in Germany and England have begun to understand how Mother Nature actually takes advantage of this mess, using the constantly changing connections between molecules to keep the light moving towards the reaction centre. This is kind of like nature's way of shaking a ketchup bottle. Nothing comes out unless you keep jogging it. But it's a lot more complicated than that. Photosynthesis actually takes place in a complex of biomolecules that are bound together in a delicate 3D arrangement. The complex has a ring shape, like a TV antenna, which allows electrons to move in response to the electric field waves of sunlight. That helps them pick up energy and carry it away to be used in the plant. Electrons are quantum particles, and they also behave like waves, rippling around the complex producing peaks and troughs. To get the best efficiency, the electron waves must all add up at the right point. All of that complexity adds up to an incredibly efficient chemical reaction. The question is, if photosynthesis is so efficient, does nature know this? Does evolution actually use quantum physics to power living things? The latest theory suggests that the answer is yes, and the next big challenge is to test this experimentally to see quantum oscillations in a broccoli. Quantum technologies are only just emerging, but once again it seems the natural world has beaten us to it. Using a combination of quantum tricks and noisy fluctuations to squeeze perfection from a leaf. And on that note, we're off. I'm Larissa. And I'm Larry. And we'll see you next time. Ooh, broccoli and ketchup. Better than jello and ketchup. Good point, Larry.